this is a thing in Spanish culture that I've noticed. You know what's weird? They would rather not be in a nursing home. They would rather you stuff them in some small room in the back of your <laughs> <laughs> they were like, just fit me in the smallest room in the back of your house. I promise I won't bother you. That's just weird. They're like, just keep me here. What? Be a good one. Should you put your parents or your grandparents in an elderly home? Or should you take care of them or hire someone to take care of them in their own home. I can't believe that you are advocating hiring a hitman to kill our parents. This is right. such a weird question. <laughs> yeah. Why well, are the only two options to, to put them care. into a home or to kill them? Facts. Yeah, that's just life. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like death. But... Life, it, no, life right. is Here, death. Here's my take on this, okay? My plan in life, okay, is to be well off enough that this isn't a question for my kid. I'm going to choose where I'm going to go. I'm going to choose what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably put myself in, in a, not a nursing home, a retirement home where there's, you know, there's doctors and nurses and things like that on staff. But, you know, I'm going to spend my day at the pool, the hot tub, Hitting some golf courses, you know what I'm saying? Doing the thing that these old cotton swab heads do, you know? That's well, I'm terrible. I'm bald head, of course. That's you terrible? That's terrible? I don't want to be in no fucking retirement home. I'm going to be in my dude, goddamn house. Dude, old people party, man. There is such a high like rate oh, of like yeah. STDs and whatnot in retirement homes. They wake up at it's 5 a.m., they eat their pudding, they're out by 12, they wake up back up at 2, and then they're back out at 5. Like, come on. They're not yeah, doing Yeah, but I mean, shit. like, you're going to stay home and just break your hip. Nah. And, and well, how would I, why would I break my hip? Because you're not, you're not in the right situation that's meant, that's equipped to deal with the person with the ailments that you might have. I would definitely be in Bingo. my Bingo. What? Bingo. I think he just hit it right on the head. No, he didn't. I think... I think in certain situations, yeah, if I I feel like if your family is big enough and if everyone in your family is willing to help out, then yes. If you are going to put that one burden on one person in your family to take care of that person, then no, because no matter what happens in that situation, that one family member is going to take so much brunt of like, there are good things and bad things with taking care of your parents and or elderly people. You get a satisfaction that you're helping these people. This is your family. You're able to spend time with them. But there is a reason why these things are taken care of by professionals like, this is not just any ordinary job, and it's not an easy job. Um, you don't want to hope that you put your parents into some sort of elderly home where they're getting abused, because that's also a thing. <clears throat> but I think you want to also not put the burden on just one person in your family. If your family's small, then I think you need to think about that. I think you need to think about... Um, I think the best thing for you to do is to always make sure that you have all of this planned out. But in the case that you don't have it planned out and maybe you're too poor to have some sort of retirement home, take them in. I think the weight needs to be spread between everyone because it's not it's really not fair to put that all on one person. So usually that person get shitted on the most and everybody has some sort of opinion on how that person should be doing their job and that job is very hard to do so the question though would you put your parent in a nursing home or would you keep them in a home and fix them or i'm not, not fix them, gonna 
I'm not going to be able to wipe my mom's shitty ass. I know that so that gonna... sounds terrible and that sounds, but it's not, that's not what I'm going to be able to do. I need to hire a professional to clean my mother, to clean, to make sure she's good from her daily basis. I'm not going to be able to cook her three meals a day. I just know this. So I you're going to hire know. someone to take care of her in your home. You're not going to put her in an elderly. Absolutely. Yeah. She's not going to retirement home. I mean, whatever she wants, I'll, I'll give that up to her. Um, but if I have enough money to put, get someone hired or whatever government assistance has somebody come over and take care of her in my house perfectly fine but i think that's still a job even on the off hours that those people leave you're taking care of that person you can't leave that person by themselves it's just it's a job 24 7 you're taking care of this person yeah you um, still you still cooking at least a meal probably you're still wiping an ass maybe you're doing the bedtime bath um i don't know it's a so it's, it's a lot of work to expect anybody to do to be honest it's I a uh, it, it's a it's a relationship level that i don't want to get to my parents where i am wiping them or bathing them or anything like that there's professionals that your for plan, that tony are you gonna you're gonna do that for your parents no, I'm not going to put them in an elderly home. I'll let them die in their home. So it's like... Um, but. So like if you couldn't afford, let's say, some, some someone to come in and take care of them in their house, you would just be like, well, just stay in your house and die in your house? Or seriously? No, 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 I'm saying like I'm not going to put them in an elderly home and let them die in an elderly home. Like my dad and my mom, you know, they, they bust their ass for the house that they bought. So they'll die in that house. Like that's where that's 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 the plan. You know what I mean? How how do how does that work? Uh, like realistically though, like are you going to hire a twenty four seven caretaker over there? Or are you going to yeah. move into their house for their final, you know, their twilight years? I'm hoping that um, you know that we, me and my sisters, come up game plan because it's our responsibility because they're our parents. So if what you don't believe in that, I no. think. I think. So you think one person should take the whole blunt of it? I think no, not. I think every, it's your parents' responsibility. Well, no, yeah. Yes, but I'm saying. But that's not always the reality. Exactly. That's not always, not the, always reality. the reality. You would hope that people are responsible enough to take care of themselves for their future, but unfortunately, sometimes that's not always the reality. My grandfather died. Didn't even have enough money to bury himself. So it's like, it just was weird. Like, hey, I would like to say that my grandfather was a responsible person. But the reality was he he didn't have that money there ready for my grandmother to have a long, everlasting life by herself. And he paid for his own. So it was dropped on all of my family members and it sucks it sucks there's also a really shitty religious aspect of that which they kind of sucked all the money from my grandparents but it is what it is like i said sometimes that's not always the reality of the situation i I Um, think this i think that some aspect of it depends on like how much care your parents you know require um as our lifespans get longer and longer uh you're more prone to think to you live long enough you're going to catch cancer you're going to catch some kind of cancer it's just a question of which kind of cancer you're going to catch if you if you live long enough cancer cancer will kill us all in the end um it's uh dementia alzheimer's all these various things like there's a level of care that i would not be able to provide for my parents if they were dementia ridden or had alzheimer's or Anything like that. There's professionals that that's what they do. And that's who should be taking care of them rather than me. But I mean, either way, if your parents can't do it, what I'm saying is if you have siblings, you guys come together as a family. Be like, yo, we need to help get this handled because, you know, this this, isn't that a third. Like my mother told me, she's like, oh, but what happens if if like, you know, your your father goes and I'm left here? Like, what would you do? I was like, I'll put you in a nursing home. She was 
so upset by that answer. She was like, you wouldn't let me live with you? I was like, no. Spanish people, spe- specifically, it's this is a thing in Spanish culture that I've noticed. You know what's weird? They would rather not be in a nursing home. They would rather you stuff them in some small room in the back of your <laughs> <laughs> they were like, just fit me in the smallest room in the back of your house. I promise I won't bother you. <laughs> That's just weird. They're like, just keep me here. They're gonna um, break that promise almost instantly. No, but a lot of, if you notice a lot of Spanish people do that exactly. I had one of my best friends, Roger, rest in peace. He passed away. You know, same thing happened to him. His father took care of his mother until she dementia took over it was suck is sad because as children we didn't get what was going on she thought there was a war in the house sometimes you can't go outside there's a war going on outside she'd tell us and stuff like that she was you know clearly losing her mind but we were seven and eight years old we didn't grasp what dementia was even yeah, if you tell a seven-year-old that she's losing her mind, what's losing your mind to a seven-year-old? So it was, you know, now that I look back, it's like, fuck, I kind of am a piece of shit for laughing when she would do that. But it was just me and my friends. We didn't get it. Um, but, yeah, they put her in her own little room, and she would take care of us when nobody was in the house. Probably not the best person to take care of three children. <laughs> But granted, she kept us from going outside. There was a fucking guerra outside. And she kept us from it. And that's a how guerra. she took care of us. Yeah. Do you I, want to explain? I, I have a, a, some, a guerra means a war. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the war that she was concerned about. Um, I had a similar conversation with my mom, Tony. And, and I, I think a lot of people view nursing home as like a place where you just like sit until you die or whatever and and there's That's what it is there's levels of nursing homes or retirement homes right i, I wanted um, to say a similar thing like most nursing homes are not like uh like happy gilmore like you see there with the <laughs> you will shut up or i will <laughs> you will go to sleep or i will put it you was to like sleep. he was like like you better <laughs> shut your fucking mouth yeah, this is funny. Um, yeah, there's levels to this shit. So, um, yeah, so my mother was incredibly offended. And I'm like, I'm like, I get that you want to be in your house. And, like, I guess if that's affordable to hire someone 24-7 to be in the crib, like, that's cool. My gut says that that's not very affordable. And I don't think me and my brothers are equipped to be wiping a bunch of asses and feeding many meals. I, <laughs> yeah, like, I think it's going to get tight quick. Guaranteed if it got put on us, it'd really just be put on our wives because we're not equipped for it. We're going to look to other people. And I don't think that's fair. Some people claim that you owe your parents that, that they changed your diapers. They took care of you when you were a little. Yeah, but we uh, didn't ask them. They just did it. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 that's but remember a, that last episode we said you got to ask your kid first. facts if i had to i would right if it was the only last attempt that couldn't find anyone else even if i tried as hard as i could and i walked for miles left and right then i'd do it you don't gotta walk to find a place man the internet exists just yeah. Google it, man. Even if I task rabbit it and they said no, this is not a task that you can rabbit. Maybe He's like you want some he... chipotle? We'll do <laughs> oh that for you. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but no. Even if I, I think nursing homes is like a waiting line for death. To be honest. You're wrong. There's levels All of, to this shit. No, there's All levels of life, to it. I'm, All of life is a waiting line for death, Tony. We're not gonna make it out of here live. Yeah, that's why I said I'd rather go out the way I want to. You know, if I let's say knock on wood, right, I get cancer or something, and you know I got the time, I'm gonna do everything in my power to do what the fuck I want, when I want, how I want. So 
But when that time comes and it's the last time I get to see the sunshine or the last time I get to say fuck you guys or whatever, I'll make sure it's with a bottle of Jameson in my hands and a motherfucking blunt. And I'll tell you guys to go fuck yourselves. And then I'll just... Oh. I was thinking about this differently. I was thinking like the Saw movies. You know, like how the reason he did the Saw thing is because he was dying of cancer and he just put everybody all- through hell. <laughs> Ask for my forgiveness. Here's a game. Like that'd be beast. <laughs> he revived my brother only to shoot him in the foot or cut his foot. <laughs> but I got a, I got a rabbit's foot, but it's Michael's toe. <laughs> it's like this is his toe. But but yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's super fucked to have children with the plan of having them owe you, yeah, like care when you get old. I, th- I think that's a really fucked situation. It's super old school because, like, I mean, that's why they had Very. so many kids back in the day was to help on the farm, was to help raise yep. the other kids. Yup, this is a very old school concept that even is being carried by our parents and our grandparents. So it's still relatively not old. You know what I mean? This is still a concept that still holds weight. And fuck, you know, it makes me scared because I had to see my grandfather go. And it's like, fuck, who's going to be there to wipe my ass when I'm fucking old? And who's going to be able to feed me? Thank God that they had my mom. You know what I mean? That, That my mom gave up her life to take care of them which like i said where the whole concept of not putting it on one person that also caused a lot of issues for my mom my mom's not a professional my mom's not equipped like medically to understand all the aspects that come with taking care of Is she a people. doctor no, she just she took be. it upon took it upon herself to take care of these people. And there's a lot of things that come with it that you you know, cheers to my mom because cheers not only to does she all the mothers who deal with their mothers and fathers and, and help out when no one else wants to. Salute. Yeah, no. Single Am mom. Am I the only one drinking tonight, you bitch? I'm, fucking I'm drinking bitches. coffee. We, we've got to record again in like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. Some I, would I say some would say that some people don't have the luxury to I'm just drinking. sit drinking alcohol. Yeah. My bad. I'm I not even gonna explain myself. But yeah, take us take so, us out of here. And do you? No, 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 no. Come, so, slow the fuck so down. Slow the down. What is what is what is your ideal, Tony? You get old. I what do you be, want? What do you want to happen my, with you? Left left in my house with a beautiful, beautiful, um, helper. Man, take care of me. Wait, wait, nurse. wait. What does what does that have to do with anything? A Man. beautiful. If person? I'm gonna die, I want to die like with someone who is a woman, beautiful, helping me gonna ease my pain through death he's gonna be a lecherous old man is what he's saying so your wife is cool with this she might not be around before i don't know i don't know if i'm out so would you be cool with a hot guy helping your wife out for everything bro when you get to an old age by the time we get to that old age we're gonna be tired of seeing each other right you're gonna be like (laughs) damn hey you want to grab this old bag away from me real quick give me my own alone time like you're gonna get to that point that's what people do Tony, I think your lifestyle is going to have you dying before your wife. I'm just going to be completely honest here, baby. It would be sad, though, because I wouldn't want to leave my wife behind like that. You know what I mean? That's that's sad. What what was that story you told us about eating three sandwiches for breakfast that were the size of your forearm? What? I never said that. Don't make up lies. He said he ate a Scooby-Doo sandwich this morning (laughs) after Thanksgiving. I did not. Like my favorite awesome. one, I think, was talking about the egg sandwiches in New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The heroes. And them big old boys. But now, nah, what about um, you? What about you, Doy? What's your what's your ideal? You get old, what 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 is your ideal that you want to happen? Man, I hope I got shit together. Cause it doesn't seem like I'm having children anytime soon. <laughs> so I hope, bro, I'll be the stereotypical New York person i'll get a bahamian woman to take care of me 
and she'll just treat me like shit, and I'll just listen to every word she says. <laughs> and that that is, so, is this the well, stereotypical New York thing? <laughs> yo, if you see New York, yes. Yeah, they don't hire uppity white people. Older, rich white people do not hire other white people to take care of them. They're always like some... Cause once you go into the Mexican territory, the Bahamian territory, you know, the prices start to drop for yearly taken care of. So I'm going to have some old Bahamian woman taking care of me, probably whipping my ass. And you, yeah, that's it. I'm going to ride off into the sunset with her. What are if, you talking about like a Caribbean woman or are you talking about Caribbean. like a Bohemian? I keep thinking you mean uh, like a Bohemian woman. No, like he means from the Bahamas. Bahamas. Okay. <laughs> He's what about yeah. our pinpointing poor countries? My dear, come here, my dear. Quick side what about, what about What about you, Pooch? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick um, side track, quick side track, quick side track. Would you guys want to die before you significant other? No, I don't want to no, die, die at all. Forever. You're going <laughs> to die, the though. Fuck? We're all going to die. I don't want to die, but, nigga. I don't want to die. But I'm, I'm a saying, Highlander, bitch. At some point, I'm going to realize that I'm going to live forever, okay? Oh, okay. Yo, I want to so get to the... Tony, you don't feel it whenever Pooch and I hang out? The quickening? <laughs> the quickening? All right. It's only, you know, won an Academy Award for greatest movie ever, people. But, of all time. Yeah, all time. Go ahead, Tony. No, like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I want to die before my significant other. I would like to die at the same time, together, holding hands or shit. Like, you know, that's sad. You, you, you um, get old with somebody, you get used to them to the point to now... You don't have them no more and then you just sitting there like an old fart just like fuck what is life anymore i lost the person of my life like i don't want to i ain't trying to live but i ain't trying to kill myself but i, ain't trying I mean to live. life goes on i know that sounds rough to say but my grandma's doing pretty good and my uncle is doing all right and he lost his wife and my grandma lost her husband and as much as that sucks I think that life goes on, and I think that you should be able to enjoy your life. You know what I mean? That's um, weird I that you think... say that. And I'm only saying that because um, you like you lose somebody, right? Like you, you like you lost your brother. Do you feel that same way right now by saying like life goes on? Yes, I love my brother to death. I miss him so much, but at the end of the day, I can't make myself a future holding on to the past like i love my brother he's in the past he's still a big part of me and i try to include him in everything that i do because we were so close to each other that there would be no michael without me and there would be no me without michael it was very it was very cl we were that close to each other like I grew up, hit puberty together. The, it was just a closeness that cannot be described very well. It, we were very close to each other. Um, and I think that that we were just, you know what I mean? I know how he feels and I try to keep his spirit alive. As I think he would think about me if he was still alive. You know what I mean? He, You know, we'd still be a big, a big part of each other's lives. Hold on, I gotta go get a beer. Well, go ahead, Pooch. So yeah, um, I think my ideal, I actually don't know what it is. Like, I think like right now it would be like to hire someone so that I could stay in my house and have my space and, and all that type of stuff. But the reality is it's like, do I do enough to maintain a retired lifestyle? If and you were the co-host of the one up podcast is extremely <laughs> ex successful podcast you would have a reason the well, media I empire retired. i said retired not not working the warren buffett of podcasting so yeah i don't know off the time i had i feel like i'd want to hire someone but then i'm also concerned like what if like i'm not doing enough you know they say like when you when old people stop being active in things is when those kind of die quickly. Damn. And something that these retirement homes give you is a ton of things to do. Like, you know, you make some friends that are in very similar circumstances to you and you guys fill your day playing golf, doing this, doing that. Like, 
I heard it's mm. like high school all over again for them. They just, I heard these old people, orgies, sex, just everywhere. Fucking mad chlamydia everywhere. Everybody's catching some shit because motherfuckers are just fucking where you, everywhere. Where you get this information this is what I said earlier. <laughs> this, is, that I have. this is what happens. You know, there's straight up old people swinger communities that you can yes. retire to, right? That is so beast. That's just, that's, I don't know. That's beast. Butthole to butthole. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Do you know what Doe wants? Doe wants right now to be in a diaper and having a grown woman change his diaper. That's what he wants right now. No, I do not want that. I don't have any diaper fantasies. <laughs> Though he's got the bib on, he's just going, wah, wah. <laughs> Although I do like oh, to shit. be mi- mimado, I like to be babied, but not in that way. It makes me think of that Broad City episode. I just rewatched Broad City recently. What a great the- show. And I think it's like the first episode where they go and they're like trying to get like enough money to go to the Lil Wayne concert. And they end up like cleaning some dude's house in their underwear. And then at the end, like they go to get their money from him and he starts saying, I'm just a baby. I don't have any money. I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls down his pants. He's got a diaper on and they just laugh and take all That's his booze and walk out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Some, some would say you should... Watch the show all the way through to know if it's good. Oh my god, we're back to attacking these dudes, Pooch or Dub Boy. What are we doing? But anyways, yeah, people, uh, it's your decision. Do what you want with your parents or your grandparents. Take care of them. Don't. But you should talk it out. Have a conversation now while they're still all up there. You know, get a plan in motion. But I agree with that. From the One Up Podcast, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit that bell. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. We're on can Facebook. Cut, we're can can I cut uh, cut you off real quick before we end? There's something sad about living in New York. Yo, there are some old people that have not thought their life all the way through, bro. You you will see like a 90-year-old person out here going to get groceries, carrying massive amounts of groceries home. And you're like, how are you doing this right now? You're on the train traveling downtown. And it's like these people are grasping onto what they have left. I do not want to end up like one of those people in New York that are like 80, 90 years old, still going out to do, which is maybe what keeps them alive at this point. But fucking A, bro. This shit is not a city for young people. Hey, yeah, duh. For old people. Duh, you got somebody at your window, though. All right, so if you haven't hit that notification button, hit the notification button. Ring the bell. Let us know to let you know when we're dropping these hot videos. We're on app, but what? We're on Apple. We're on Amazon. We're on Podbean. We're on not on Pandora yet. We're on all these not on social SoundCloud. media. Oh, God, we're on all these social medias, all of them. <laughs> Don't be afraid to share. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And like we always say, go one up yourself. Peace. Peace.